Hey guys, this is 18.2. Welcome back to Terraria 1.4 Insanity Mode. And the last part, I got some meteorite stuff. I got some hellstone stuff. Did a lot of reforging. I realized with infinite money and lots of time, I can just, you know, just keep reforging until I get what I want. Uh, I also did some lava fishing off camera with the magma snails that I went down to the underworld to get because I I really wanted to be able to walk on lava so I now have Terra Spark boots. All I need was the lava charm. So, I explored all this off camera, and I went to the bottom of each of the trees, that didn't help. But I did all that just to get a lava charm, and I could not find a lava charm. So then I decided to see if there was another way to do it in 1.4. There is the obsidian crate, which you get by fishing in lava. And, well, they added a new, access they added a new accessory to let you fish in lava which you get from fishing in lava. So the only ways to fish in lava are get the hotline fishing hook from hard mode or catch some some uh, underworld bait. And I got five snails before before getting flies or butterflies. So, I did fishing with magma snails. I got some things. Uh, I now have a a uh, lo an actual lava shark mount. Uh, got another couple pets that I don't really like. Uh, as I mentioned, I got the Lava Charm, which meant I could make Terra Spark Boots. I can also now also get a Lava Charm so that I can get 14 seconds of Lava Immunity, but since I have infinite Obsidian Skin Potions, I don't care. Now, you may be wondering about this bloody tear. Well, it's getting really, really annoying that I haven't encountered a Blood Moon with how many in-game days I've had. It just hasn't shown up. And you can't craft the bloody tear. So I did some world hopping, grabbed a spare bloody tear, brought it back here because I want to show off the new blood moon stuff. And I also want a money trough. But more, most importantly, I, 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 I want to show off the new Blood Moon content. But first, she should have... Okay, so this has confirmed that this world technically generated with corruption. Um... As a reminder, this seed is 051620, uh, which generates with both the Crimson and the Corruption. Um, but I did select random for what type of evil was in the world. And so it still randomly assigned. Uh, randomly. Oops, wrong way. Randomly assigned it to be. Um, wait, no, I was right the first time. 
uh, assigned to evil as corruption for the purposes of things like what the Dryad sells. Alright, Blood Moons. First bit of new content. Fishing in a Blood Moon now gives special things. And supposedly will spawn enemies. Spawn enemies. Um. I, I love these. I love these imps. I didn't realize that they pierced. Oh, there we go, there we go, new enemy, new enemy. What is it, what is it? It's a wandering eye fish. I, um... That's not how I was expecting it to spawn. I know they'll spawn this one. Let's, uh, put my ballista down here. Because there is some good stuff that you can get from Blood Moon Fishing. Dang it. Dang, these things are strong. I need... I need better armor. So, the Blood Moon fishing enemies can drop. Well, the thing I really want is basically a pre hard mode version of. pre hard mode version of the Daedalus Stormbow. Oh, this is not a good place to be. This is not a good place to be. I also should have put my buffs on. Hello, Zombo Man. Uh, Zombie Merman is still there. Okay, money trough, um, I got a vampire frog staff, which is not as good as my imp staff. Uh, let me declutter my inventory a bit. Oh shoot, I hadn't considered that with Terra Spark Boots. I can't use the hunt. Oh, wait, hang on. That would be helpful. All right. So yeah, so chum buckets. All right. I am back to blood moon fishing because I really want to show off. Oh, the tavern keep died. I did get the main thing I wanted, which was the money trough. Okay, well, actually, the main thing I wanted was to show off Blood Moon Fishing, which I have. I would love to show off the bow. 
Which, I mean, this is journey mode, so you know, I could, you know, just freeze time. I can do that. Oh, that was cool. Oh yeah, you might be wondering where the Inferno potions came from. Probably not, but you might be. The Inferno potion came from... Ooh, Drippler Banner. No, it did not come from a Drippler Banner. Um, it came from my lava fishing, uh, two Obsidifish, and one Flare Fin Koi. I'm not getting any Blood Tears, which is a problem. doing, but I don't care as long as it's not hurting me. Uh, wandering eye fish? Are you gonna die? There it is! There it is! The blood rainbow. Which, as I was saying, is basically a pre-hard mode Daedalus storm bow. Um, okay. I don't need to go to my settings. I need to turn the blood and gore on for now. Because this just looks better when it's blood. Uh, although, it does increase the number of entities my computer has to render. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. So, it doesn't care that I'm using Hellfire Arrows with it, which, if you'll recall from my Dan the Demo Man, along with if you've ever played Terraria, you will know that uh, the Hellstone, not Hellstone, but the uh, Hellfire Arrows... <laughs> I love the Star Cannon. The... The Hellfire Arrows explode on impact. Don't need that, 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 don't need that. Don't need those, don't need that. Okay, I, I would like to show off the Demon Conch as well. But first, I got a Sharp Tooth Necklace. Which, which is another thing, come to think of it, that I would like to show off. Another new accessory. By combining... Where is it? Oh, my glasses are off. It will be a lot easier to see. Oh, wow, everything is so much sharper. And a honeycomb... And I should, uh, clean this up. Put it there. Alright, did some inventory sorting. Not much, but a little bit. So you can combine the honeycomb with the shark tooth necklace to make the stinger necklace, which gives you five armor penetration and releases bees when you are damaged. I don't have anything I can get rid of at the moment, but it is a useful accessory that I won't really be using because um, 
I like the double jump too much. And for insanity mode, I the the worm scarf is necessary. Okay. Um, I have discovered that the space gun is not all that useful. Like, I was wondering if it was maybe because I uh, just wasn't using it correctly somehow, even though I've used it before. Um, so, I, I, I will admit, I went... I, I uh, did, did some testing in god mode to see maybe if I let everything congregate and start shooting, maybe that'll work. No, water bolt's just better. It's just straight up better. Okay. Um, I want that. I mean, there is one advantage to the Hellfire arrows over, reg over regular wooden arrows in that they deal 13 damage. Which... Oh, it is more than the Unholy Arrow. I thought the Unholy Arrow did more damage. So, I'm still going to want to keep those. Alright, Demon Conch. Go! Yeah. This is what the Demon Conch does. It's not what it's supposed to do, but that's what it does. It's supposed to teleport you to the middle of the underworld, which is right around here. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work for some reason. If anybody knows why, let me know. Oh yeah, Molten Fury. I, I let. I, I really like Hellfire arrows. Okay, so now this gets to stay on my in the, on my hot bar. I don't need the lava. I don't actually need the lava proof bug net for a while. Let's keep the boomstick. I have found myself using the uh, the fiery great sword. Okay, blood moon done. I did not get any blood tears, so there's still just a one in nine chance of a blood moon happening. All right. Alright, so this is my new Skeletron Arena. I expanded it a lot. My healing thing is now in the middle. I did have to switch out my Terra Spark Boots for some Frost Spark Boots so that I can actually use the honey. And, oh, that's where the Peggy Bank went. I'm wondering where I bought it. Anyway, uh, one thing I haven't shown off yet in Journey Mode, I've shown off research, and I, I don't think I've shown off God Mode, but it just, you don't take damage. I kind of want to do, uh, th there's a really funny thing where it, the game, just like every couple seconds, will send a Dungeon Guardian at you, but I really don't want to do that. I can change the weather, which I'll have to show within. I'll show later. But for right now, let me show... Wait, I can adjust the time speed? Oh! Somehow I missed that. I'm gonna have to mess around with that off-camera with another character in another world. But, if I click change time to dusk, it's now 7.30. Which means, I don't have to cut quite... I don't have to cut uh, a ton of my waiting as I wait for Skeletron to be ready to fight. Because, Skeletron... Uh, Ready to fight. Get some stars. 
is going. Just because stars are my strongest weapon. Uh, it's not doing as well as I would have hoped. Wow, it's amazing what a difference um, actually having room to move makes. You know, I wonder. First off, why haven't I summoned an M? Secondly, why haven't I spawned a ballista? Thirdly, does this... Am I low enough that this works? Not really. That was also terrible. Terrible time to pause. Alright. Oh, great. There's a spike. It looks like both hands are going to go down at about the same time. Well, all right, I got an imp, got my lista rod, got my mini shark ready. All right, here we go. Love song. is still better for this part. on journey mode. Because I can just do that. I need to... S the thing that really makes this fight a challenge on this seed is just the fact that it's so low. Oh, that's part of why the star camp doesn't work too well. Okay. 
Yep, that let me turn on another buff. I'm not sure where Skeletron's head is. But with Meteor Shot, I am more likely to hit him. Don't, don't you dare kill me. to see with whether the uh, star cannon or the mini shark was working better. So I'll have to see in editing which one was better. Yeah, I can shoot up. I think this might work better. There we go! Skeletron is dead! Whew! Alright, first. Uh, no. 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 That goes back on. I don't need this anymore. Bone Wand. Research. Chippy's Couch. Research. The Relic and the Trophy are going to be going on my monument. Possessed Skull. I will have to compare that. And treasure bag. Um, ooh, I like the baby Skeletron. Take that off. And the most important treasure of all. The friends we made along the way. Nah, I'm kidding. The, 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 the real treasure is being allowed in the dungeon. I don't have much time left according to my uh, timer, but I have some time left. So I figure I'll just uh, go down until I die, because... That, that's just how it's going to be. Ooh. Uh, actually, I need those. Oh! Great clicking doesn't uh, remove those now. It just toggles it on and off. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I can officially say the uh, mini shark is just not worth having on my hot bar. So let's swap that out. Goodbye, sighted mini shark. Oh yeah, I suppose I should also mention the uh, the other new change with the dungeon. There's a new type of block. But step on the floor. Cobalt shield. Yes. Swap that with shield of Cthulhu right now. Because now I have knockback in the air. Anyway, so yes, there is a new type of block. I already have golden chests, but I don't want fairies pointing this way ever again. Anyway, you... Alchemy table doesn't matter, I'm a jerk. So there's a new type of dungeon block. The crumbling bricks. I believe they're called crumbling bricks. They might be called, like, Crack Brick or something. Um, 
But either way, when you step on them, there is a chance. I mean, it's almost a guarantee that the blocks will spontaneously break along with any of those blocks uh, underneath. Actually, I don't need the frog gear on me. I would like to use my coat ledge. Along with any crumbling bricks below uh, below the cr below the one that broke and so on and so forth until it hits the bottom. All right. So that is Skeletron down. I'm going to mess around with accessory setups. Um, I'll open up this first treasure bag and then I will... I won't be able to fight Skeletron again for a while. But let's open this anyway. Ooh, a Skeletron hand. Um, honestly? I think I'm sticking with my diamond hook. Uh, I might mess around with a bone glove, so... I'll reforge that off camera. Uh, yeah, I'll mess around with accessory setups. I'm not gonna explore the dungeon off camera, don't worry. I'm, I will probably go back and get the alchemy table just to have it, even though I don't need it. Anyway, oh, before I end things off, I have discovered something weird. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting notified about YouTube comments. Like, I'm checking my YouTube studio multiple times in a week, and just today I found a comment from two weeks ago. Didn't get a notification of it. So, if I don't respond to your comment, just assume... Well, don't assume. It's probably because I didn't get notified of it, and it just isn't showing up for me. I'm not getting enough comments that I can't respond to all of them. So... I, I do respond to every. I do try to respond to every single comment on my videos because there are few enough I can do it, provided I know about them. Anyway, please remember to like or dislike and or comment and or subscribe as the algorithm demands. But for now, this has been 182, and I will see you guys next time.